today I want to share with you how to create a lead magnet inside of Canva. So let's get to it. As we go forward with me showing you step by step on how to create this lead magnet inside of Canva, I am going to go ahead and preference that I do have the paid version of Canva. When I sit down to design my lead magnets, I always start with two options. I start with a template. I go into Canva, I type in the search bar lead magnet, and I look at the templates that they already have. And Canva has beautiful pre-made templates that you can rebrand as your as your own and so as you can see this is all the pro level this is a free one anything with the crown is going to be the pro level meaning that you have to at least have the paid version if i'm not going to use canvas template i'm going to use pre-made templates that i provide for club members if you want this done for you league magnet workbook slash ebook the link is below this video for this demonstration i will be using the done for you workbook ebook template when i start with a template i always do a copy version because i never want the original messed up what i'm going to do is go to file and i'm going to say make a copy so my original template doesn't get messed up then i close out the original how do i know i'm on the copy version because it says copy of the golden workbook i want you to know that you do not have to use all the pages in any template that's the wonderful thing about done for you templates. You can just choose, you can, you know, delete pages, you can add your own little spin to it, and then it becomes yours. Having multiple pages is great, but you don't have to use all of them. My lead magnet that I'm going to create is going to be maybe about three or four pages, and that's it. I'm definitely going to use the cover page. I'm not going to use the template, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the page. Remember, I've made a copy of this, so it's okay. I'm going to delete the page. I might include an intro about myself. I'm definitely going to use an article page and probably this one because I'm not planning to use a long article. And I wanted to include the reflective questions. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's easier for me to delete these pages like this and hold down shift, click on it. I think I am going to include a follow up page. Yep. And so I'm just going to hit delete. So far, my lead magnet is going to be about six pages. I'm going to go ahead and change the coloring. For you, if I was doing this for myself, I'd probably keep this the same, but I'm going to go ahead and change the coloring right now. What I love about Canva, it allows you to change the colors on all the pages. I'm going to go ahead and click change all. All the pages should be blue. Yes. Great. And then I am going to look for some images. My lead magnet is going to be about conquer every challenge, how to break problems down and build real confidence. I need to have images of women who have strong confidence, just, you know, overcoming things. So I know that's what my article is going to be about. So I'm going to look for images that reflect that. I'm going to go here to photos and I'm going to pick confident women. And if I'm really feeling savvy, if you don't know, you can go over here and you can click on a color that inside of your document and that there are fine images that have this type of color inside of it. So I'm going to click the light blue. And so now all of these images have basically similar coloring to my background. And so I am going to start with this picture. I'm going to drag this here and I'm going to title it how to conquer every challenge. This article that you see that I'm using is from the Done For You bundle collection that every bundle includes four pre-written articles already done for you. And I'm going to put this where the word hit paste. And now, of course, that title is too big. So I'm definitely going to size it down some. This is not like absolutely perfect. I'm just working with the layout. That's the cover page. Now, this is where I can put a little bit more information about myself. I'm going to put a picture of myself here. Let's just use this one for right now. This will just be a short bio about who I am and then who I help. Now we got the intro page. Now we're going to get into the nitty gritty of the article. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And it, you can change the title to whatever title you want it to say. I'm just working with this title because it's just faster for me to just work with what I have. I'm about saving as much time as I possibly can. If you're familiar with ChatGPT, you can copy this article in ChatGPT and have it rewrite it so it can be original content if you like. 
you don't have to but you can and put your own personal spin on it so now we've got two column article then i'm going to come here and i'm going to paste the rest of that there now that my text is a little shorter i can do a little bit more i can add another picture here here's something that you could do if you want to remove the background so let me go ahead and delete this image i'm going to drop this image here and i'm going to remove the background now that my background has been removed i'm going to enlarge it so it takes up a little bit more room and so now that i've done this i don't really have to have another image if i don't want to so right now this is what we have article on conquer every challenge how to break problems down and build real confidence so this article feels like i want people to have reflection questions that they may ask themselves about how do they overcome their challenges and to build a more confident self inside of the dump you bundle you also get a worksheet this worksheet is also included in the confidence bundle and so i'm just going to choose the first question and i'm going to copy it and i am going to put this reflection question here it is a little longer than i want i could break this down because this does have three questions in one now we got our three questions and so i don't need this last question and I don't need this white box. Let's size this down. And so we've got a little bit more negative space. So what I'm gonna do is select all of this and I'm gonna move this down a little bit and I might put another image in here. So the next thing I wanna do is my follow-up page. At the end of every lead magnet, you want to have a next step for them to do a call to action and so for me this is going to be a follow-up with me i'm going to change my background color to blue okay, so everything is cohesive i'm going to add a picture i'm going to use this image here and i think it really ties into then i'm going to put all my information here because i want someone to follow up with me about maybe scheduling a coaching call maybe just follow up with me and be friends on my social media profile it could be a product or a course or another product this is my league magnet that i was able to create in canva using the done for you template the last step that i would have to do is that i would need to save this as a pdf standard is fine and then i would hit download and it will save all six pages into a PDF. I have to say, this looks pretty nice, and we did it in no time at all. The Dump You template helped us save time without being stuck on what we should include, the content, how to design it. This is a game changer. So enjoy your lead magnet that you just created inside of Canva.